Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today to watch a Trader Joe's haul. I just got back from the grocery store and I have so much to share with you guys. I did a normal weekly grocery haul for my family this week. If you guys like watching the taste test at the end, Tim and I will do a taste test of the two new things that came in this week and you guys can see if we liked it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. It gets my videos out there so everyone can enjoy and watch and it really helps me be able to continue to purchase all these items for these hauls so you guys can see. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do weekly Trader Joe's hauls and cooking stuff, all different things, so I would love for you guys to be a part of my channel. So let's go ahead and check out all the yummy foods I bought today. Okay guys, I'm gonna start off with some drinks. I bought a ton of drinks. I don't know why, I just was feeling drinks, but I, I got this canned pineapple juice. I've showed you guys this so many different times now. Um, it's just nice to have on the go. We are going to see alpacas tomorrow, and we're packing a sack lunch, and I thought these would be perfect to just take along with us because they're double insulated, so they stay colder longer. Um, of course, I had to get kombucha. I got a watermelon this time and my favorite, the guava. Um, so these two are like my favorites for summer. Picked up another almond beverage. This is always something that I buy every shopping trip because we go out of it so often, but it is the best almond beverage. I just wish that it was organic. That's the only thing, but it is really good. I also grabbed the Fresh Squeezed Lemonade. This is a seasonal item and it's back, so I had to grab the first batch and try it. And then some pineapple juice. You guys can tell I have summer on the brain. Everything just looked so good and just reminded me of summer. So yeah, got some of that. And then I grabbed two different cases of the Spindrift. I got the raspberry lime and the orange mango. So I just figured these would be great to have in my outside refrigerator and we could just grab and go as needed. Um, typically we just drink plain water, but these are nice to have on hand when you're just wanting something a little sparkling and something with a little flavor as well. So now I'm gonna go to all my refrigerated items. So I grabbed the pasture raised eggs. Guys, I am now in love with these eggs. I buy these every single time. You can tell the difference in just like the egg yolk. It's much darker. And um, I feel like they're just all around really good eggs. So we've been buying these. I think this is like maybe my fourth or fifth um, carton of these. So I really like them. Now I have a couple frozen items. I got the veggie fried rice. As you all know, this is like a staple in our freezer at all times. So this here is the Japanese style fried rice. I haven't showed this on my channel yet. This is also frozen and it has edamame tofu and seaweed in it. Um, I'm typically not a seaweed person, but this rice is really good and I had forgotten about it until they were sampling it at the demo station and I was like, oh yeah, this rice. So I grabbed a bag so that my husband and and can try it and see if my toddler will like it as well. We'll see, probably not, but hey, it's worth a try. And then the last thing of rice I grabbed is the Jasmine Organic White Rice. I love having this on hand. It is just an easy way to cook rice fast if you need to, and I've just been really enjoying rice lately. It's been really good, making a lot of Asian dishes, a lot of um, Indian food dishes, so I've been really into that. Moving along, so this is the peaches and cream tart. It said new item on the tag at Trader Joe's. However, I feel like we had this last year, and correct me if I'm wrong, I might be wrong, because this might be actually a brand new product, but I feel like we had it last year, so I just can't remember. So yeah, I grabbed one to show you guys, um, but it looks delicious. The picture is like, oh my gosh, so yummy. And I also grabbed a fresh mozzarella cheese log because I am making sandwiches for our picnic tomorrow and um, I love doing like little paninis and wrapping them up and they're perfect for a little picnic lunch. And these are pre-sliced, which I love. So they're already sliced. I can't tell if you guys can see that through the camera, but they are all sliced and you just peel them off as needed, which is so convenient and easy. So that's why I grabbed that. And then the last two refrigerated items, other than the produce, is the 
hummuses that I picked up. A lot of you guys ask what my favorite hummuses are at Trader Joe's, and these are it, these two right here. I love the classic Mediterranean hummus. It's so delicious. As you guys can see through the top, there's tons of pine nuts in there and like a little bit of olive oil and I don't know, some other stuff, herbs. This is basically one of my favorites because it's easy to eat. It goes with almost everything. I love eating this with carrots and I love eating it with cucumbers, two of my favorites. Um, and Benson likes it because it's not spicy. Now this is another big favorite of mine and Tim's. This is the three layer hummus. As you guys can see, there's traditional cilantro jalapeno and spicy. And here are the layers. I don't know what happens when these come in because we'll put them up on the shelves and they all look like they've been shaken up. Um, but there you go, you can get the, the layers there. So I think the top one is Mediterranean as well. So it's good to mix them all because it's spicy and it kind of tones it down. But yeah, so these are my two favorite hummuses for those of you guys that are, um, that are wondering and ask me in the comments a lot. These are them right here. And then I also grabbed a bag of organic romaine hearts. Typically, I will get the, the romaine hearts from Costco. However, um, my Costco has not had the organic ones in quite some time, so I've been getting them at Trader Joe's, and that's why you see them here. Moving on, we did get the peach Bellini jam back in. This is, again, a seasonal product for summer, spring slash summer, I should say. Um, delicious. I love this jam. I remember running out last year, and it would, was already gone, and I was so bummed out. So I grabbed another one this year so I can reminisce about the good times that we had. <laughs> And then, of course, I bought my favorite raw almond butter, and um, this is, again, there's no salt added. It is creamy, and this is just one of my absolute all-time favorite almond butters. This is what I always buy, and I run out of it a lot because Benson really likes it, too, so we kind of all share it as a family. Now, I did get a ton of snacks, so you guys are seeing this. This is the oven-baked cheese bites. I did want to buy these just to tell you guys that if you are on keto, these are keto friendly. And so many customers come in and ask that if um, what we sell that is keto friendly. These are one of those items that I know 100% are keto friendly. They are basically, it's all cheese, it's made of cheese, but it's really crispy. And it just has an amazing cheesy flavor, like a sharp cheddar really good. So if you guys are keto, I say I would definitely recommend trying these, picking them up and trying them. They're like a great little snack to throw in your bag or you can even make them a part of your meal somehow. Probably crumble them up and put them on a salad even. So um, yes, that's why I showed these. I also grabbed our family favorite, the kettle cooked olive oil potato chips. Um, all it is is potatoes, olive oil, and salt. So it's a really crispy salty chip that we all eat and love. I grabbed some pretzel slims because, I don't know, they just look good to me and um, I thought these might be good to dip in the hummus, so I don't know, we'll see, but they look good. I picked up these pita chips for the hummus as well and I thought Tim would like these. He typically likes to have um, hummus with a chip or with some bread and I like it with cucumbers and carrots, so yeah, that's why I grabbed those. I also picked these up. So I remember trying these when they first came out and I loved them and then I kind of forgot about them and I was looking at the snacks today and these just were calling my name again. So I grabbed them again and I love, love, love these. They have great flavor and I feel like they're fairly healthy. It's made of corn, pea, bean, and quinoa and I feel like they just, they're really easy to eat. Super easy and yummy to snack on. Now moving on to, I got some bread. So today I'm trying the Stone Hearth Baked French Loaf. I feel like I've had this in the past, I just don't remember it. Um, and I wanted to give it a go again for our sandwiches tomorrow and plus I haven't shown it on my channel so I wanted to show you guys. Um, I've heard great things, so many people buy this bread, so many people love this bread, so I thought I would try it. And it looks like this, so you guys can get a good look of what it looks like. Yes. So there's that. And then I grabbed these seeds and grains crisp bread. So this is one of the more popular breads that people eat if they are trying to do low carb, um, obviously healthier with just being grains and seeds. And there's a gluten-free version. So I didn't get the gluten-free version, but 
Right next to this is a gluten-free version. So if you guys are gluten-free, just keep that in mind because um, people really love these. They'll make sandwiches out of them. You can like spread almond butter on there, some honey, cinnamon, yum. All of that sounds great. But I know a lot of people that will make like little sandwiches out of these. And um, you can do open face or you can do two pieces. But they are very crispy. So just keep that in mind. If you have like sensitive teeth or something, they're really crispy. I also picked up some brioche buns because I feel like it's Memorial Day. We're going to be grilling, and um, these buns are super soft and amazingly delicious. So I grabbed them. Look at how thick those are. Mmm. Definitely um, not gluten free in this house. Moving on to, oh, I forgot this snack, of course, the Elote Corn Chip Dippers. So Tim loves these, so I've just kind of gotten used to picking these up now because he will eat half a bag in a sitting because he loves them so much, and they are delicious. I love them too. So that's why I grabbed those. And then I also got my favorite Greek style feta dressing. I just needed to stock up because I only have one left in my pantry. So I had to have a little bit of a backup because I run out of this stuff quite fast. I picked up this guys. This is a pesto and quinoa like little mix. And I don't think I've shown this before, but it is amazing. So a lot of people like putting this on like fish, chicken, whatever protein you'd like to dress this up with, you can. And I personally like to use it as a spread on a sandwich. So this will be like the base and then add your, your stuff in your sandwich. But I love this because it isn't just plain pesto. There is the quinoa, so it makes it feel heartier and more full. So in a previous demo, they actually used this pesto and quinoa and mixed it with the tomato soup and it was amazing. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe I could do that too. But I think I'm gonna use it for sandwiches to start. Um, and it's really good, really good. I also grabbed this, the artichoke antipasto. I don't think I've shown this either, but this is amazing on just crackers as a dip. Um, you can put cheese on top of it. Oh my gosh, I know I just blew you guys' mind. Um, but yeah, it's delicious and super yummy. I cannot wait to dig into this. I grabbed some kosher dill pickles. Always have those on hand. Guess what guys? The barbecue rub and seasoning with coffee and garlic is back. Yes it is. It is back on the shelves. This is a seasonal rub and I can't tell you how many people ask about this during the year because everybody loves it. So if you guys like this stuff, I'm telling you now, stock up on it. Leave it in your cupboard and just have it year round because it literally is here and then it's gone before you know it and then everybody gets bummed out that they didn't buy six. <laughs> so just letting you know, grab those. So I also grabbed these peeled tomatoes from San Marzano. It's a product of Italy and these are, I've heard so many people tell me that these are like the best tomatoes. So get these to make your t uh, pasta sauces and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I grabbed this because I have been really into making my own sauces lately. And I just like having this in my pantry whenever I need it. So that's why I grabbed that. Now on to the new stuff. Here we go, guys. Here is the first thing. It's a body care item. So this is the, why won't it focus? Focus. Okay, moisturizing gel with aloe vera. So this is actually a clear gel, but they put it in a blue bottle. So it doesn't come out blue, don't worry. Um, I really like the label. I think it's cute, it's very nautical. Um, and yeah, it's just basically a self-explanatory gel. You just use it after you're out in the sun. It cools your skin down. And a really good little tip is put this in the refrigerator and let it get cold. So that way when you do get a little warm in the sun slash if you get sunburned, which don't do, don't do that. But if you do, this is perfect to put on after and it'll cool your burn down and it'll make you feel so much better. So yes. This is this, and I'm gonna test this on Tim. So if you guys wanna see how it feels, I'm testing it on Tim. Here is another new thing, the vanilla flavored baton wafer cookies. So Trader Joe's sells these in chocolate as well. If you guys are diehard chocolate peeps, you're probably not gonna care about this. But if you like vanilla, these are for you. And I did get a chance to try these, and I will say I loved them. It tastes like white chocolate in the middle. Um, so a lot of people weren't a fan because they don't like white chocolate, but that's what it tasted like to me and I thought it was delicious. 
Um, I did have them plain. I think they would be better in coffee or as the picture is showing some ice cream. Yum. But I'll have Tim try these and see what he thinks. Whoops. And then here, we finally got in some saltine crackers. So for those of you guys that are getting sick or getting over being sick or anticipate getting sick, which I hope none of those things are true, but it does happen. Um, Trader Joe's is now selling the organic salty squares known as saltines. And that's kind of exciting because I don't really shop at any other grocery stores and Trader Joe's never had anything like this. So um, I know these are good too with soup and stuff, but now that it's getting hot, I don't think too many people are thinking about soup. Maybe gazpacho or something. So yes, these three are new. And then we also grabbed, I grabbed these. These are the seeded mango and ginger crisps. These are seasonal, so they are only here for a limited time, but if you guys wanted to check these out, I would say go for it. We have several different versions of these crisps. I think we have like a rosemary one. I think we also have a cranberry one, and then they come seasonal, so we get like a seasonal one for the holidays, a seasonal one for summer, a seasonal one for fall. Oh yeah, there's a pumpkin one too. So anyways, that is that. So here you guys go. This is the overview of the haul which is a big one today so you're welcome for those of you guys that wanted a big haul there you go hi guys i'm back with tim my hubby and we're gonna try some new stuff and i think well which one do you want to start with we have the salty saltines vanilla wafers and this oh <laughs> oh that looks delicious um, let's do the salty saltine okay. squares and then finish it off with dessert. Okay. Yeah, there's not much to taste test this week, so we're working with what we got. They smell just like saltine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you say? It tastes like a saltine cracker. <laughs> yeah. And it's so dry. It's very dry. You need, <laughs> you need something to moisten that up. It does taste like just a regular saltine cracker. It's not stale. I don't know why, but I'll open like saltines and then a day later they're stale again. I don't know why. So if you guys are sick or if you want to use it as a cheese base and no i was just reading the box and on the box it says that you can um use it to complement soups cheeses and spreads so i've never thought to use these for anything but like when i'm sick or a soup but yeah, yeah i guess you can do other things with it if you like them so now we're gonna go ahead and try the vanilla flavored baton wafer cookies and again i've tried these but tim has not so he can give you guys what he thinks and then i'll Try one. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> You're so weird. What do you think? Mmm. Those are tasty. Yeah. So they're good. Tastes like an ice cream cone. Kind of. Yeah, it's really they're really sweet. And um I like the crispy shell that it comes with. It's it's good. Okay, the last thing we're gonna try is this. And I'm gonna put a little on your arm. Okay. Since you use so much of this stuff. Cause <laughs> no. you don't wear sunscreen. Oh, lies. <laughs> okay, so a little bit on your arm. I'll try a little bit too. I just wanna see it. It comes out clear, guys, for those that are concerned about like the dye additives. Go ahead. Or did you want me to do it? I'm gonna smell it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know about that smell. What do you think? How does it feel compared to the other gels that you're used to? Uh, well, the last one I tried was the Trader Joe's one that yeah. kind of stings because sometimes if I'm, I have like a little sunburn on my face, it'll like kind of sting a little bit. I think it's actually doing something. So maybe. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sure. This one just I am not burned, so I can't say if it, whether it does that or not. But uh, it just feels like I put some wet substance on my arm. <laughs> It doesn't really feel like anything. Well, what about stickiness? Like, it smells kind of weird. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of the smell. It's not like, it doesn't have a, I don't know. I don't know how to describe the smell. It kind of smells like a baby wipe. 
Oh, that's good. That's probably yeah. Smells that's like probably why I'm like ugh, because it reminds <laughs> me of that. It totally does smell like a baby wipe. Yeah. So it's kind of dried on my skin now, and I will say that it is not as sticky as most of the gels that I've tried with aloe vera. Um, it feels actually like soft, and yeah. my hairs aren't even like matted down like they normally are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's actually soft. It's almost like a lotion. So that's cool. I'm happy about that. That's nice. Yeah. I don't know why they haven't brought out the organic one. They made an organic one last year that was in a small little green squeezy tube thing and that's the one tim uses that's and that he too. really likes okay guys well i hope you enjoyed this haul and our little mini taste test today give this video a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye, bye.